Welcome to applying thermal paste in ridiculous ways. <laughs> At this point, I think I've perfected the thermal paste paintball. This is how you make one. All you have to do is grab a normal paintball and drive a screwdriver through it, such that you create a large hole on one side and a tiny little hole on the other side. That way you can grab a can of compressed air and do this. <laughs> Once all of the paint is blown out from one side, there's plenty of room to fill it with thermal paste. So once this is now filled to the brim with that instead, we have ourselves a thermal paste paintball. And now we can grab ourselves a launching device of choice, which in my case will be a slingshot. All right, now that we have our thermal paste paintball and our handy dandy slingshot, it's time to test out our accuracy. If you look all the way across the yard, you can see our target, which is a bare CPU inside of our motherboard. I think it needs some thermal paste, don't you? As always, please don't try this at home. Leave it to the thermal paste professionals like me. Bullseye! <laughs> and just like that, we applied thermal paste to this PC from 30 feet away. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I call this one the thermal paste drive-by featuring Deuce the dog. Let's get it. Our CPU is on the ground right here. And I've applied some thermal paste on the tire of my car, which is way over there. Let's run the CPU over and see if we can apply the thermal paste right on top of it. No way, the thermal paste on the tire just hit that CPU perfectly. That was legitimately the first take, not even kidding. <laughs> we successfully applied thermal paste with our car. You can almost see the tire grooves on it too. That is one ridiculous way to apply thermal paste. Today's video is sponsored by an egg. <laughs> I'm just kidding, could you imagine? No formal sponsor today, but if you want to support the channel further, you can check out my Thermal Paste merchandise in the link below. Man, after all of these thermal paste experiments, my hands are getting kind of messy. So let's wash those puppies. Wait, wait a minute. What is, is, is that thermal paste in my soap? This isn't moisturizing hand soap, milk, and honey. This is Mr. Easter thermal paste soap. <laughs> With only a few dabs of this on your CPU, it'll not only kill all of the germs on top of it, but in addition, when fully evaporated, it'll leave behind this nice residue of thermal paste. <laughs> this one is for sure ridiculous. <laughs> Now, Newton's third law of motion states that when two bodies interact, they apply equal and opposite forces to one another. So hopefully we can use that to apply the thermal paste on this CPU to this CPU. Don't fail us now, Newton. <laughs> okay, so the CPU with thermal paste has been flying and just smashed into this case, transferring the thermal paste. So I guess that's kind of successful? <laughs> Not really though. And that's all I have for you today. So if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe for more tech tinkering and thermal paste experiments. As always, I'm Mr. Yeaster, and I'll catch you in the next one. There we go. <laughs> Do you see? I think the CPU still works. The back of it's completely crushed. Whoopsie.